I was asked, Mr. Kane, would you be comfortable appointing a Muslim to your administration? And I paused and said, no. And then later I said, but it's not impossible. Because I'm thinking from the perspective of what President, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said when I first heard him two or three months after 9-11, 2001. Number one, he said, terrorism is going to last a long time. And number two, America's got to learn that they, the terrorists, the jihadists, they want to kill all of us. So no, I'm not going to play nice and nice and say that I'm not going to take extra precautions in order to be able to make sure that we can do our job. What exact special precautions would you use? I did. And how do you know if the special precautions would okay. work or not? If you're trying to make me lose my cool, you're almost succeeding. <laughs> I, I mean, it's, a, it's a confusing statement. No, no. I never said I would use any special precautions. Okay. So a Muslim applies to be in the administration, gets in like anybody else. Yes. Okay. I never used those words. Okay. Those words were used by somebody on the internet. Okay. <laughs> now, <laughs> X. It probably wasn't politically correct to raise my voice. With you, Mr. King, leading in a lot of the polls, um, would you talk for a few minutes about some of the people that you admire that we might see in a Kane administration? Oh, sure. Um, Dr. Kissinger turned my offer down to be Secretary of State. Uh, he said he's perfectly happy doing what he's doing.